Hey you guys, welcome back to Living Gratefully. I have a pretty big Walmart haul for you, a Walmart car haul. I am parked in a shady spot, but I have the AC going because it is a little hot and of course, I don't know why, but I wore long sleeves. This is the biggest uh, pickup that I've done since I've been doing these car hauls. So I'm gonna try to do it quick. I have this up because the traffic is amazing today. It is so many cars going back and forth and it's distracting. So I'm holding this up with my knee Hopefully we can get through this and it's okay for you guys. I hope that you can also hear me because I do have the AC on. And let's go ahead and get started. I also have an update on my back, hip, and feet problem that I want to share with you. But I will share that at the end of the video. I have a neurologist appointment today at 2. And... I'll give you a little bit more information about that at the end. And then some of these items, since I bought so much today, I'm just going to be like holding it up and maybe say something really quick or maybe not say anything at all. Maybe I'll just write something on the screen. I missed a week of doing this because we were at the beach. So I don't know if you guys missed it or if you are like excited about this one, but please give me a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. First up, we have heavy duty, long, I like this big, long, um, um, tin foil because on the cookie sheet like when I make cabbage when I roast cabbage in the oven or really anything like that like Brussels sprouts or anything in the oven on a cookie sheet I like it to not touch the cookie sheet so that I can like you know put the cookie sheet away throw the tin foil away and not have to wash it um, but the only way to do that is to get the big size tin foil so comment below if you like the big size tin foil and I haven't found where they have the big size the it's basically 18 inches is what you have to look for to get the length this way I haven't found it to where you can get 18 inches without it being heavy duty like to me it's like it doesn't really have to be heavy duty it just needs to be big so let me know if you found that and I can, I'm also fine with like great value brand or whatever Ever, but this is what they had as far as the 18 inches. I am really picky about my Kleenex. If you guys have been around a while, you know that I have a box of Kleenex in every room. I have a box in the car. I carry Kleenex in my purse. It's basically Kleenex, Vaseline, and water that I have to have at all times everywhere I go. Um, my eyes water, so I use the Kleenex for that. My nose runs. I had a surgery when I was 16 on my jaw, and they cut some nerves up in my nose. Um, or they, they cut a bunch of nerves, you know, doing the surgery. And so I actually, I don't know which tooth it is. I can't tell in the, in the screen, but this tooth is always yellow because of the nerves that they cut. My nose always runs because of those nerves being cut. And so that's why I always have Kleenex and it's hard to find the kind that I like y'all. I don't like the ultra soft lotion-y Kleenex. I like the plain, I do like the Kleenex brand. <laughs> um, so I got a ton of those. I literally got the max that I could buy because they're like a dollar each. And I think the max was 12. So that's what you see right here. I got a couple of bags full of Kleenex back there um, so I could stock up more Kleenex. I got some chicken breast. I think I'm going to try to make chicken spaghetti with that. That's been on my channel before that recipe. We haven't made that in a while so I've been wanting to make that. Klondike bars y'all. I got two packs of these because me and Scott have been loving these. Got two of those. Got some bread. Milk. Scott already went to the store, I think it was yesterday or the day before, and get picked up bacon and eggs, so we're good on that. And I'm gonna make Kristen Casper's chili recipe. I don't think I've ever tried it, um, but it has beans and corn and ground beef, and she used like the grass-fed ground beef, so I picked this up. It's really supposed to be 85.15, but that's what she used anyway. But, I, but they had to substitute. This was our only substitution. And actually, I've never bought the grass-fed but I like the packaging. So do y'all like, does it taste better, the grass fed? I know it's technically better for you, but I know also with organic and things that they label, you know, it's not necessarily true. So to me, I've never really gone for grass fed or organic, but I really like the packaging. So that's really what sold me on it. And I got some makeup. You know, I always have to try out some new makeup. This is Physician's Formula and it is a bronzer contour palette. And what I was interested in the most is this contour color to try to give me a little definition. I don't 
currently have a contour like i brought okay we had to come home i'm in the garage you can see our pegboard full of wires and stuff right there um you'll hear probably have the windows down you'll hear some birds and crickets and stuff <laughs> um but my iphone it was fine i didn't feel too hot or anything i had the ac going but my iphone cut off um because it got too hot so i'm at home hopefully this is gonna work and then i'll unload put this stuff away i have to be at work at one i think it's like 12 30 right now so it's gonna be quick my neurology appointment is at two so let's finish this up i was talking about this bronzer bronzer contour palette and i don't have any contour right now i have a bunch of bronzer but no contour so i'm gonna give this a try when i was browsing the website for my walmart pickup i saw this wet and wild i love wet and wild stuff i'm telling you what some of that stuff is like the best stuff but this is like a highlighting powder and this is in the blossom glow they had like four different colors you could pick from and one of them was purple or blue or something like that which is interesting but anyway this is just like a little highlighter to give you a little glow and sometimes things like this are not the right color for me but if I don't like it I return it I don't know if you guys do that but if it doesn't look good on me I have the receipt I return it if it doesn't work I do stand in the return line comment down below if you do that too and then Bailey up church you know that was the makeup class we went to I went to and then um, there will be a travel vlog about that but she was mentioning in her Instagram stories about this new product from wet and wild tinted hydrator so i picked that up because you know it's summertime maybe you just want some tinted moisturizer sometimes she said it's really good and then she also mentioned this true match l'oreal and this one has how do you say it hydrolonic acid this one has that in there so i'm always looking for like the right color and the combination so this is a good something to try over the weekend this was not a planned event but i ended up cleaning out all the spices and cleaning the spice racks and stuff in the cabinet and clean wiping out the cabinet and adding new um <coughs> shelf paper <coughs> i'm sorry guys i don't know why i'm <coughs> can't clear my throat um but i did that over the weekend and so i went through all my spices and i had some that expired in 2016 and 2017 had to get rid of some but i only bought the ones that i know that i use um frequently and then i made a list of all the ones other ones that i threw away like red pepper flakes i don't use that one as much but i did throw it out so next time i need it if a recipe calls for it then i'm gonna probably have to go buy it but i don't feel like i need it right now so i got some of the basics minced garlic basil oregano bay leaves for my soup i got some stovetop stuffing i don't know if you guys saw the short but i wish they would make this in a little disposable single serve container that you can put in the microwave like they make the mashed potato ones if they would make this in that container single serve microwave quick snack or quick side dish i would be so happy and then i'm just gonna flash up some of the things that go with the chili recipe that i'm making so Have y'all ever tried this pasta angel hair with herbs? This is like, you know, instead of mac and cheese, you can make this as a side dish. It's so good. It tastes a little bit like um, Alfredo, but easy. I picked up some more of these because we had these at the beach and they were so good. And Scott was, has been eating on them, even like not at the beach, just like grab a snack. They're good. Y'all, instead of kidney beans, I really love these red beans. If you've seen my videos before, you might already know that, but red beans are so tender and just melt in your mouth compared to the kidney beans, but they give that different flavor than pinto, so it's they're the best. Um, and it doesn't matter the brand. I've bought Kroger, Great Value, it doesn't matter. They're good. So I actually got two of those. All right, and this is it. This is candy for me to snack on, so Scott likes the salty and I like the sweet. Sweet. <laughs> okay, I'm actually gonna take you off of this and go inside and talk to you about my back. Okay, we are inside now. You can see my messy living room. <laughs> I guess I need to clean that up, but this is real life. Um, it is 1240 and I am, so I'll be signing on to work here in a little bit. So <clears throat> I guess I can't shake this table because it shakes you. Um, okay, so if you guys have been around, you know that I have been dealing with upper left back 
right hip and both feet problems. I don't even know how to explain that. It's like so much pain. And when I walk, my hip hurts and then my feet hurt. And then my back, the left side of my back, and it goes towards the front too, um, sorry, is excruciatingly painful. Um, it started out that part wasn't as um, painful, but now it's like extremely painful. Um, so anyway, I've been dealing with that for over a year. And if you're new here, thanks for sticking around and watching this. Um, but I have been to, oh gosh, two spine doctors, a hip doctor, a podiatrist, three different physical therapists, two different chiropractors, and now I'm going to see a neurologist. And I'm sure I missed something in there because I've been, I've tried everything. If you saw my cryotherapy video, you know, I'm like willing to try anything. Um, to get rid of this pain, but nothing has helped. Um, I, they put me on some different like gabapentin nerve medicine, um, didn't help. Um, I take a muscle relaxer at night and I could take that throughout the day. I'm, it's prescribed, but it doesn't help. So that's why I don't take it during the day. It helps me sleep a little. So I take it at night, um, but it doesn't solve any problems. Um, I haven't tried narcotics. They haven't given me any narcotics for pain. i they have given me a um, meloxicam. And so I take a meloxicam in the morning. doesn't really help, but I take it anyway. And then throughout the day, if I really am going to be walking around, like yesterday we had a bridal shower and I want, no, a baby shower, sorry. Um, and I wanted to be able to kind of walk around without my cane, but it's not going to be like, you know, long distances, like going shopping at Walmart or going shopping at the mall. It wasn't like, I can't do that. But if it's going to be like, I want to be able to walk around, um, a little bit, but not have tons of pain. Like even if I go to the office at work, that's more walking than I do here at home. So I'll take like two Advil and two Tylenol and it kind of helps me move a little bit better. But like I said, I haven't tried narcotics. Um, and nothing really takes away the pain. Sometimes it just makes it a little easier. When I used to do cleaning videos, I would take two Tylenol and two Advil. Um, and then, you know, I'd be able to clean but it's not like the pain ever went away. And <laughs> those videos are sped up. So you really had no idea how slow I was walking and how, you know, sometimes you could see like that I was hobbling, um, especially if it was sped up and I was like, like this. But I've been dealing with this for over a year. Now, today at two o'clock, I'm going to work for a little while and then we'll go to the neurologist. Scott's going to go with me. Um, I might come back on here and give you an update if it's anything significant. But other than that, I've also seen a neurosurgeon. See, I forget like how many appointments I've had. The neurosurgeon, I've also had a nerve conduction study, which um, has led me to this neurologist. So the nerve conduction studies show that I had abnormalities in my calves and my feet. And so the recommendation was to see a neurologist. So that's where I'm going, but I'm not sure if that is going to address my hip and my back problems. So, you know, I will let you know the update on that. I also have uh, another hip doctor that I'm going to see, like a second opinion, because the first hip doctor, he did the hip MRI. He said, you have uh, fractures, insufficiency fractures, which, you know, shows that you have osteopenia, which I had a bone scan. So, you know, that helped him determine that I had osteopenia. He said, stay off of it. That's why I was in the wheelchair and the cane and everything and to let those fractures heal. They obviously have not healed, or maybe that was not what was causing the pain because I'm still in the same boat three months later. So the other thing I'm gonna do is have another back MRI that is scheduled for this week um, because he wants to do surgery on my back. He said that that will help my back problems, but it won't help my hip and my feet problems. So, but in order to like talk more about surgery, we need to see if like it's gotten worse, like the thoracic herniated disc, which was found on the MRI, the first MRI. So let's see. And then I think that's it. So I have like some upcoming appointments, including the one today. Um, I try to be positive on my channel and in the comments and stuff. So I know you guys have been asking like, how are things are going? Um, has it gotten better? You know, and I know you guys are so hopeful, like prayers answered. Is it better? And I kind of want to say, no, it's not better. It's actually a little worse. Um, and getting worse, like it's not, it's not ever better. So I hate to say that because I want to stay positive and think that it's better 
or ignore the fact that it's not better. I don't know, but it's not. So we are continuing with doctor's appointments. That's where we are. I'm thankful for Walmart pickup. I never did that through COVID. I never did grocery pickup. I still just went to the grocery store and I like to look around and pick things out. Um, but now that I can't really walk around the store and I can go in there on the scooter. Y'all seen that on a video, I'm sure. But as far as um, the ease of grocery pickup, I'm like, wow, this is really nice. And I'm very thankful <laughs> that I can do that and do these hauls for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in my next video, which will be very soon. Thank you for listening to me. And thank you for being here watching and supporting Living Gratefully. And I'll see you later. Bye.